welcome back welcome back so this is going to be the theory so this is just going to be the powerpoint stuff for activity one and in the next video i'm going to show you my actual word document i'm going to have the exam paper to one side my word document to one side and go through the process i would normally go through so a risk assessment is the process of identifying what hazards currently exist or may appear in the workplace this was a definition I copied from Google, not too far off from what we are going to be doing in this activity one. From an examiner's report, this activity requires learners to assess the cybersecurity implications of the scenario and produce a risk assessment. A risk assessment template is provided together with a simple matrix for determining risk severity. So they give you almost everything you need. So what do you actually do? What do you do in the activity? You will get a scenario on the exam paper. You will need to read and make some notes from the scenario. I recommend highlighting on the physical paper. I recommend also in your Word documents, jotting down notes. I've actually done that on a few occasions where I have my Word document template open and I simply jot down a few notes so I can always go back and copy and paste and change things. Uh, there will be weaknesses present. Uh, some will be obvious and others not so much. So you have to, this is why I recommend reading and highlighting things. Not everything is going to be obvious. The scenario will have all the information you need. The scenario will have information of the company, the hardware and software the company uses, a plan of the building. So that's like a diagram showing what rooms you're going to have and where things are going to be laid out. And there will also be a network diagram and how the network and its devices are arranged. So think of a network diagram as just, well, a diagram that shows you how, what devices the company is actually going to be using. And in some cases, well, in every single case, how they're connected. So activity one, again, what to do, you will need to find these weaknesses. So the weaknesses I mentioned earlier. After reading through the scenario, you'll have to highlight, pick out as many weaknesses as you can. I suggest making a list of all the things you find. Make this list exhaustive at first. So make the, make the list big, then trim the list down if you need to. So every th single thing that you see or read that could be an issue, note it down. And what you would do afterwards is you shorten the list. But don't start off with just three or four things. I would say between six and 10 is a good number. Maybe six and eight would is a good number. But again, make your list exhaust, exhaustive. So as soon as you see something and you think, actually, this could be a potential weakness, write it down. You can always remove it. So this is the risk severity matrix table here. This is given to you in the activity one template. Very simple to use, but I'm going to try and explain using my PowerPoint here how it works. For every threat or weakness that you have found, you need to do one of these or you need to make use of this table. What I've done in the past is I've created this table myself. I have it in my document and I fill it in for every single thing I find. I, simple, I simply copy and paste it every time. So the risk severity matrix, there are two things we need to do using the matrix. Well, it's actually three. Uh, so that's actually wrong. The probability of the thing occurring. So how likely is it that this error or this weakness or this fault or this issue will occur? The potential size of loss. So let's just say for argument's sake, it does happen. What is the potential size of loss to the company, the person or the system? And then finally, how severe the threat is. So the implications if it happens. So if this thing happens, how bad is it going to be for the company? Uh, so things you need to do again, list all the threats, do the below for each threat. The threat probability, so that's the likelihood of it happening. So how likely is it to happen? Uh, the possible threat impact, how, not how much, but how much damage could it cause? And the risk severity matrix example. So I've given the example, the threat is no encryption on the admin server. That's the example I'm given. Imagine this is my threat. Let's give this the worst case scenario, a popular secondary school, which is going to have maybe a server It's probably going to have thousands and thousands of details of past students, current students, and maybe students coming in September. So it has details on students, parents, teachers, uh, payroll information, uh, bank data. It just has everything. OK, so this is going to be a really serious one. I need to use the risk severity matrix to work out the probability and the possible size of loss. 
so the probability of the threat occurring so again the threat is no encryption on the admin server the probability in my opinion my educated opinion is very likely an educated guest based on this scenario so this is going to be your interpretation of what you think as well right i have worked in a school before where one of the sites was actually um, attacked by hackers and they were being targeted because obviously it's a school security isn't typically the best in school because they don't typically want to spend a lot of money on people and on things and services so it's typically relatively easier to get into a school versus let's say a multi-million dollar company even though schools do have millions of pounds so i'm going to say the probability for this is very likely very likely to happen because if there's no encryption on the ad admin server and someone gets into the admin server even if it's a student they can see everything nothing is encrypted they can click on something and read all the information and print it and copy it and paste it i'm going to say very likely then the size of the loss the threat again is no encryption on the admin server i would say this could be a major loss why would it be a major loss think about it like this <clears throat> if there is no encryption on the admin server and someone gets access to the admin server they have all the information on every past student every current student and potentially students coming in in september they have information on the cleaners the teachers the principal payroll information the school's bank details they have information on every single thing so the size of the loss and the loss doesn't have to be them legitimately losing all the data in terms of of um, someone deleting it that is a big thing as well but it could be a case where someone just has access to everything so they technically lost the data because someone else has access to it so size of loss here could be both things but i would stick to them actually losing the data not being able to have the data anymore and i'm going to say major for this one and then finally risk severity how severe is this risk if i'm saying the probability is very likely and i'm saying the size of loss is major uh, i would say extreme and let me go over how this works again so i'm going to say the probability of the threat is very low let me bring my pen up one second the probability of the threat i said very likely so i'm going to highlight that one there you can do this on a excel spreadsheet and copy it into word and highlight as and when you need to the size of the loss i'm going to say major because again if someone gets access to uh, a unsecure server that has people's details that's going to be a major major size of loss and from here so we choose very likely from the probability and from the bottom row we can either choose minor moderate or major and then the same thing for probability of threat actually it could either be very likely likely or unlikely we only have three options for those now you can add one or two more options if you really really wanted to but i don't think it's necessary you stick with the template they give you that's perfectly fine and then from there we work out the risk severity so if it's very likely and this major i'm going to say the risk severity is going to be high or extreme and in this case because if they get access to the information or the data on the server it's going to be detrimental to not only the school but to people as well because you have addresses names data births maybe full photocopies of, of birth certificates and passports and bank details this people would have everything they need to go out there and commit fraud essentially so i would say again very likely for the probability that's why i circled that one there and i would say size of loss would be major and uh, the risk severity is going to be uh, extreme so this is how you use this table i'm going to probably do another example when i get to my word document section i'm going to have a list of um, issues or weaknesses and i'm going to go through this a few times with you guys just so everyone fully fully understands it so the risk severity matrix i'm going to say copy and paste the table as many times as you need it you don't need to copy and paste it you could simply create your own table do whatever you think is best but i would copy and paste the table and for every single weakness i find i fill in the information and the way i would do that i would simply maybe highlight this green so if i'm saying my threat is no encryption on the admin server i would highlight this one here green i would highlight size of loss as major and i would highlight the risk severity as extreme so it's very obvious to me to the examiner that's reading what does this person think about that particular threat you could even go as far as to create a quick table again that says that gives you the threat 
and then under the threat you could have probability of threat size of loss and uh, risk severity and you could simply put those that put that in and you could simply put that information in i will go over this when i get to my word document copy and paste the table as many times as you need it do the same for the assessment itself so that's the next section which i am going to show as well or create a shortened version of what the table shows i will show that as well so the risk severity matrix the threat again is no encryption on the admin server this is how i would do mine personally so you could do the table way or you could just have this in text on a word document this is only going to be what three or four lines in a word document so you could say threat and you state what the threat is the probability um, i've said for mine is that it's going to be very likely the size of loss i've said is going to be major and the risk severity i've said is going to be extreme you choose whatever you want but this is how i would do it so all of this i would copy this first line in a word document the second line on the second uh, line of the word document this would be the third line that would be the fourth line that's it keep it very very simple and do this for each one so the next threat might be there is no password on the wi-fi right that's the next threat the probability of uh, um, the threat occurring would be in my opinion very likely size of loss probably i don't know medium what whatever the table said and the risk severity for this may might be something like medium or high again so i would simply have this inf information as many times as i have threats or weaknesses so if i have 10 weaknesses i'm going to have all of this information here roughly 10 times so show example word document all right i'll be using the 2018 past paper uh, this is the only one on the website, on the Pearson's website, that's not locked to the public. So that's why I've opted for that one. I'm also going to put links in the description for you guys to be able to download it from my personal Google Drive. If you don't know how to find it on the website. If you would prefer to just Google it yourself, that's fine. You could just Google search BTEC Level 3 IT and it will come up with the, um, the Pearson's website, the BTEC website with all the files, everything that I'm using here is completely free. As I said, this is the only one that's not locked. So this is the risk assessment. Uh, this carries on from the previous section. You will need all those risks and the severities which you found in the previous section. I will go through this, not to worry. You fill in the table for every threat you've identified. So again, let's just say for argument's sake, we found five threats. I'm going to have this table here copied five times. And where it says threat number, I would obviously put something like, let's say zero one. Uh, threat title in here, I would put something, uh, what was the previous one again? The previous one was uh, no encryption on the admin server. That would be for that one. I would put the probability, uh, potential size of impact, risk severity, explanation of the threat in context. So why do I think the probability is going to be so high? Why do I think the potential size of loss is going to be so high? Why do I think the risk severity is what it is? So give some context, give some explanation, justify why you're saying what you're saying in the last box here and again if you have 10 or oh, sorry i said five before if you have five different uh threats or weaknesses you have five of these boxes i'm going to show you even how to copy and paste them when i get to my word document so bear with me and that's it for this one so the next part of the well the next video is going to be activity one me in my word document with the exam paper on the left me making some notes me doing the risk uh, the risk assessment and we'll take it from there thank you for watching hopefully this was useful